Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. So, the theory behind this is a bunch of squatters have walked in and destroyed this poor woman's house while she is in another state. Um, if you look around, this is my first time in here. The smell is horrific. Um, this is the kitchen. Um, it, it, it's pretty much self-explanatory at this point. We're gonna go upstairs. There's three, there's three floors in the house. I haven't even seen photos, so this is like the real shit. There was a dog in here. Uh, bathroom is here. Bathroom looks disgusting, so somebody was shitting in the sink. Uh, I'm gonna go back through here. There's definitely a dog in here. So this is the second floor living area. It's, it's definitely going to be an all-day job as well. Uh, we'll go upstairs to the other floors. Homeless people wrecking havoc. Watch your step because I'm not sure how there's glass up here. Right here on this landing. <coughs> so we've come to another bedroom that they have literally just ransacked and destroyed. All of her personal items are in here. We're gonna try to save as much as we can, as much as we absolutely can. Do a deep cleaning in here. <coughs> I don't think it calls for respirators or Tyvex. It's just really, really dirty. We'll go up to the fourth floor because there's another set of stairs. We're here to help in all situations. Mattresses are, I'm sure, going to end up going. Try to let a little light in. So you guys can see a little bit better. It's going to be a rough one. They were smoking in here. Stay tuned for the in this process and for the fun alley. We don't know what this job looks like. We don't know what's going on with this job. We just drove four hours listening to Ben's beautiful voice My singing. Beautiful voice. Singing to Disney music <laughs> and uh, punk rock. So we. Alternative. Our, yeah. Not punk rock. Oh, emo. We were back in high school. <laughs> so we're going to walk in. We're going to figure out what this is about. All right, so now that I hate blocking the rock. So, um, it fucking stinks in here. This place just seems dirty. It's disgusting. Like, I need a disinfective bath right now just from walking in the building. It's old in here. Does anybody live here? Uh, it smells like... Mm, they were a smoker. It smells like vanilla cigarette. Hey. Alright, so, we're gonna... Go. We're gonna turn a light on so you can see my fabulous face. So we're gonna walk in. We're gonna see what it looks like. You can already see. You can see the the paramedic gloves. Some shacks. Somebody somebody kicked off their dirty shoes. There's like a whole group of gloves over there. <laughs> yeah. What it is? Whoever it was was a marine. Is this a suicide? We have no idea what happened. This was a surprise. We got the uh, text message yesterday. Mm -hmm. 
hey, guess what? You're driving four hours to clean up an emergency buyout. Yeah. Uh, while we were in the middle of a horde. Horde. Not whore. Um, he was in the middle of a whore. I was in the middle of a whore, <laughs> yeah, 100%. Five, we passed like six or seven super loops, and every time, He's gonna scream super loop. Super loop! What did I just say? What did I say? It's gonna be a lot of disposal, a lot of sorting for stuff that we can save. I would definitely say it's gonna need a deep clean, which we'll do after the fact as well. The bathroom downstairs is probably gonna be the hardest. Kind of overwhelming to think that people can destroy other people's things and when you're doing it yourself when you're destroying your own property it's one thing when you're destroying and living off of somebody else it's a totally different thing I'm cleaning the seal <coughs> not like really bad. Anybody menstruate? Plug it up. I was speaking French. Oh. <laughs> ba ba da ba, super new. So I don't think there's going to be a lot of bio, so I'm only going to set up one box because I'd rather not. I'd rather not waste. I think we only need one box. It's only. It's only but two. carpet just get it gone um, the reason I'm going I'm trying not to contaminate any other area in the bedroom so at this point I'm removing the biohazard so we can continue to remove all of the furnishings that way we're not contaminating the rest of the house tobacco anybody The crazy thing is, is the only reason that I feel like we need to wear the respirators right now is because we're dealing with carpet. This is old carpet and it's glued down. It being glued down has actually saved us a lot of extra work because the glue acts as a barrier for the subfloor. I'm gonna flip it over so we can see what this actually is. Oh, it's a towel. I thought it was vomit, or somebody took a giant shit. Um, but it's not, it's rust. It's just, I think somebody overflowed the sink. The mold up top, that's coming from upstairs.
This is probably going to stain because it's rust. But the sink isn't being kept in. All I'm trying to do is make it more pleasing to the eye for the final walkthroughs. And you wipe it away. All right, well, the sink is drained. <coughs> Come on, wow. You can do it. Ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, the mold. That's a lot of mold. That's a lot of mold. That's a lot. Why not? I don't know. I don't want to work with. We are not equipped with molds. So. Call the boss. Yeah. Just close the door. Right. Yeah. yeah, call her. That just went to set hey, yeah. We don't have the equipment for the mold today. No. And that is full. Juan and I are standing here, and we run into a little bit of an issue with that bathroom. Going to take the vanity out. The whole bathroom is completely covered in mold. Oh, shit. oh like, oh shit is not anything. Like, <laughs> we can't. Behind it, behind it, it's covered in mold? Oh, yeah, like to the point where Juan and I don't actually feel comfortable because we're not equipped for a mold job today. Okay, so you don't have a uh, respirator? No. No. Oh, this is, this is, uh, it's it's bad, like the mold is bad in there. Okay, take some pictures because I'm gonna have her submit it to insurance. Okay, alright, sounds good. Alright, send them over. Alright, bye. I cut it a little over on the bio side so that way you, we don't have to worry about any extra getting on and we don't contaminate the actual environment side of things. Well, he's cutting that up for this in it, to put in the box. I'm actually going to spray the indicator to see if the carpet soaked in any of the bio and if it went down to the glue on the floor. So you can see I sprayed the indicator and it lit up like fucking Christmas. All of this is actually contaminated with biohazard. The cigarette is safe to smoke. So we have a little bit here, but the most con concentrated area is actually in this vicinity here because this is a glue. And we're gonna spray part A on it. The part A is gonna draw it out. And then we're gonna indicate to see if it's actually, if we drew it all out or not. Sweep the horse, sweep the horse, sweep the horse. This is the way we sweep the horse all through the day. I'm just it's going. It's the last room we gotta clean out the trash in. And um yeah, we start the deep clean. So all I'm doing, there's a lot of cake on dog shit. <laughs> So I'm using this scraper to get it off before I sanitize the flooring. Obviously, there's no flooring down here. It's just concrete. To get everything off, I can wash it and scrub it with a super strong cleaner and disinfectant. And then, once that's dry, we can paint it. We're not painting it, but whoever comes in here after us can paint it with a pills and block it. It's a odor and mold blocker, but we'll get most of the odor out of the concrete. Kitchen is much better, and the fridge is done. The fridge is really, really, really bad. It smells so bad. And we're doing good. We're, we have a good time and everything is good. That looks 10 times better. 10 times better. It needs a little more work though. I love the speculation that we do. We always make up our own story 
as to what happened with him, even though we know what happened. We always make up our own story. Like, the secret agent or This was a, a hooker. You pray. A hooker. Or him. We're in the hood of the so He was a Marine. His life it was pretty routine. Usually they stick to a lot of routines. How do you know he was a Marine? Thing. That's from the VA. Hey, listen, the side of the listen, road. listen, Ben. You're speculating. No. Speculation. You need me to get super loose.